so hello guys welcome back to my channel first of all i'm very sorry i'm making this video after so long so from today i'm planning to make regular videos on mainframe so that it helps you so today we will discuss the concept of redefines okay so redefines as we all know it is the sharing of memory of one variable by another variable for example i have a variable like this wsa picture clause x of 10 I'll take another variable WSB. Suppose I will write redefines WSA picture clause X of three. The meaning of this is if you write, first of all, if you write a normal variable like this, okay, the meaning of these normal variables are these are two mutually exclusive variables, WSA and WSB. WSA has a length of 10, data type is X, alphanumeric, WSB has a length of three. The meaning of this is system will allocate 10 bytes for this variable, system will allocate three bytes for this variable. These are mutually exclusive. They are not sharing the memory of each other, of one another, okay? But whenever I write a variable like this, WSA picture clause X of 10, WSB redefines WSA. This redefines thing whenever, whenever I write, the meaning of that is this WSB will share some memory of WSA. So WSA has a length of 10. And suppose the value of it is A, B, C, D, E, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The value of WSA is A, B, C, D, E, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, now since WSB is redefining three positions of WSA and since it is alphanumeric, it is left justified. So from the left hand side, the sharing of memory will happen. Now I have not assigned any value of WSB, but by default, it will take some value. The value of WSA, first of all, it is A, B, C, D, E, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The value of WSB will become what? A, B, C, because it is sharing three memory that means the first three slots of WSB are shared by both of them the next seven slots are exclusively for WSA this is called redefines concept now we have the concept we know it how it is used now what is the use of it in real time that thing we will discuss it discuss today so I have taken one sample program it is not a proper program I have not written any procedure division just I have written the data structure okay and also this kind of data structure in real time will have you will have in copy books, okay, the file structure, not on, not in working storage section, most probably. For example, there is an input file which is coming from the client side every day. And as we all know, in the file that comes, there will be records, millions of records may be there inside the file and the records will have a definite file structure. It, will, it is not like client will simply send a file to you with random like data, with, with the data which does not have any significance. It, it will have some uh, if you open a file in with copy book, you will know which field belongs to which field, which value will belongs to which field. Okay. Now <clears throat> just imagine this is a file which is coming from the input file. And in this file, one, one different thing is there. And that is, there are two types of data in this file. That means there is not a single data structure. There are two types of data structure in this file. First data structure is this. Okay, and second data structure is this. So first data structure is, the first 10 characters is name, then five characters is salary, then one character ID or identifier, then five characters company name, then one ident uh, identifier field, and then the fillers, okay, to make it 80. So this is an 80 length file. Now there is one more data structure where the first 10 characters is the state name, then six characters is pin code, then 10 characters is post office, then 10 characters landmark, then one identifier, then filler. This is also 80. Why there are two types of data? Because before the start of the project, suppose when the project started, it was decided with the, after the meetings with the client, it was decided that the client will send two types of data in the input file. We have to design our COBOL program in such a way that it accepts both the type of data based on some flag in the records. That means each record will have some flag. Based on the flag, you will, you have to identify which, which kind of data structure that record has. Now, if the file has around one lakh records, 
so it may be like 40000 records are having first type of data structure 60 type of 60000 are having second type of data, data structure now how will you define the file structure in your copybook or in in your program okay that uh, inside your file control that you have to do with redefines concept so you have to take a group variable then i have taken suppose there are three types of sub elementary variable i have taken wsb wsc wsd now in wsb what i have written is picture close x of 80 that means whatever is coming in the input input file is by default wsb i have not defined any data structure so 80 length i have defined whatever comes it is wsb now in w wsc i have written it redefines wsb for these variables okay this is the structure so wsc has a definite structure wsd also redefines wsb with this data structure if i don't write redefines what will happen since it is the zero to uh, sub elementary variable what will happen the length of wsc will become 80 plus 80 plus 80 to 40 because it will be addition of wsb wsc and wsd when i write redefines it means the same storage which wsb is using is being used by wsc and the same storage which is being used by wsb is being used by wsd as well so wsc has one type of data wsd has one type of data now you must be seeing there is a field called ws indicator now <clears throat> just imagine the business log logic is such that if ws indicator is p it means personal information name salary id in company name indicator so if the indicator is p it means this is the first type of data if the indicator is a that means it's the second type of data state name pin code address information this is personal information this is address information in personal information you have name salary id company indicator in personal in address information you have state pin code post office landmark indicator like that now <clears throat> just you can imagine two types of record first will have this kind of data type second will have this kind of i mean data structure and based on how you have designed your program and what flag you have chosen and based on the flag the client is sending the records will be processed in that type of data structure and it will be taken ahead with the business logics that you have written in the program for further processing so if you write a wrong code here suppose if you write a here and if you try to move the values in ws name salary id company then try to do the business logic perform the business logics then it will give some arbitrary results and it may fail also for data type if, even if it doesn't fail it will never give you satisfactory results because you are moving wrong data in wrong field and also if you are identifying this field as p personal information and moving these to this moving the personal information to this then that thing also will give the same type of error so whatever value the client passes this thing will be pre-decided before start of the project okay that this personal inform for this personal information will send a p flag in the in that record for this one will send a a flag so you have to check that thing and if it is p you will write the record in this uh, sub, uh, in uh, you will consider these records to be personal and you will move it to some other working storage variables for further business logics and if it is address information, these values you'll take into some other working choice variables for further business logics and process them. If you have to store data in table or send report file, whatever you want to do, you have to move ahead with this. So this is the real time concept of redefines. Other than this, the, the example that I have shown you, this is just the concept, how it is used, why it is used, the data type, the level number should be same. So this is the example of how it is used. But if you see, why would i define a variable like this where it has a value wsb all, all automatically takes a value abc this is of no use right this kind of examples the real examples which are there in real time are these ones where an input file may have two three four five six different different types of data structures and you cannot define different different copy books for that in one copy book only you have to def uh, define the structure in such a way that the length is also the same and it takes whichever record comes it takes in the 
uh, that particular data structure only. So that time you have to con use the concept of redefines. So whatever comes will be accepted in WSB. Now, if it is A, then it will be WSC structure. If it is, sorry, if it is P, it, is, it will be WSC structure. If it is A, it will be WSD structure. I'm just giving an example of PA. It may differ in real time based on the values that you decide upon before start of the project. So I hope this video will help. So from today, I will regularly post videos. So please suggest on which topics I have to make videos on. And thank you. See you.